All right, little bugs, it's that time. A quick confirmation, sneak and peek. Ooh, peekaboo, let's see what you need to know. Take your love vitamin. All right, little bugs, what's the overall message here that we need to know? Air magic. Um, this is someone who's sending you some strong telepathy. They're sending you messages in the air. You're not going crazy. These musics, um, the music that, the music that you're downloading, the movies, the scenes, it's like you're having deja vu. Your person is sending you a um, message. Uh, that song, I can hear it coming in the air tonight. It's your person. Now, you also need to follow your dreams. Don't get stuck on that telepathy because it's meant to put you in an emotional place. Sometimes telepathy will stagnate you. So this is your confirmation. Yes, this person is sending you messages, but you got to keep going. Somebody here also could be looking into your life. They could be dreaming about you or doing tarot. Or if they have a crystal ball, they are scrying, looking to see what you're doing. Inspiration and courage. This person right here is feeling a little froggy. They want to jump. Oh, I want to jump. This person wants to say something to you. They're, they're feeling inspired. They feel inspired to say something to you. I heard now. Now I want to say something. All right. We didn't need to know about this air magic, Holy Spirit. What's the confirmation? Ooh, the three of swords. You got a cry baby on your hands, crying about your behind, about this uh, relationship. This is a person that comes off manipulative as a magician. And the six of swords. So this is the thing. There's a person that's been in your life or that's in your life. This is a person that likes to make you feel bad for them. This is a reverse psychology tactic. It's to get you off the situation at hand and to put you to put your focus elsewhere. Like focus on me, focus on you, let's focus on us. So this is somebody here who knows a little bit about magic for some of you all. Others of you all, they definitely could be studying it. If you needed or wanted confirmation of a person that you are involved with or potentially thinking about getting involved with. If they are into like spells, love spells, sex spells, yes. Yes. This person sends you their energy. They send you this music. They send you, they, they work on you. And the love spell is to make you um, be controlled, to control you. Somebody here definitely, do, definitely does not want you to likely sleep with anybody else. They want to be the only person on your mind. They also may want to be, they also may be doing spells to want you to always feel heartbroken or feel um, disappointed in relationship so that you don't move away from them. Somebody here is trying to get your energy fixated on them and them only. What's the three of swords and the four of wands? So to it? This is someone that has these feelings for you. This is how this person feels. They feel like you're their lover. I heard that song by, I think it's D'Angelo, You're My Lady. So they feel like you're their lady, you're their man, or that's what they want. But they're being manipulative in how they do it. What's the three of swords and the four of wands, Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. So this is a person right here who wants to get over a heartbreak. Or they, if you feel that they've heart, they have broken your heart, they want you to um, get over it. Something here has taken a little time. It's like, you know, I want us to get to a better place. You know, we, we, we've been taking a long time. I feel like we should be better off now. This person is very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. Some of you all could also be receiving, like, you know, phone numbers calling you that you don't recognize. Getting, um off text messages that's this person somebody could like download phone numbers to send you a text message call you or something like that but a person is trying to for some of you all a person is trying to make you get over the heartbreak that they've given you they want you to like you know say well okay it's okay i hear band-aid like put a band-aid on it but it's past the band-aid stage for some of you all it's almost like you know how a person wants to avoid an elephant in the room for somebody here that's what they're doing so that's why they're slow to approach you slow to say something but they will always send you telepathic messages it's not about this person being with someone else at this particular moment it's just that for somebody here they want they want to they want you to feel a particular way about them now some of you all need to know there is a person in your energy that does not want you to be happy without them. What's the magician card and the six of wands? Hold, the six of swords, Holy Spirit. What's the magician card and the six of swords, Holy Spirit? What I told you. 
they're manifesting you ace of cups there's a per this person is in love with you honey this could be someone new that you're um meeting you they could be be careful of love bombing here also the temperance card they're taking their time but they want peace the sun card they're hoping for a good outcome at least that's what they're thinking and they're planning because they want you to get to the somebody could also be staging something to run into you at a particular place at a particular time that's this person doing this so they could be staged phone calls but you you know you may not know someone is interacting with a person that you used to or interacting with but a, a something is not a coincidence it's like if you go to the store and you run into this person that person knew you were going to be there so some of you all may have more than magic you may have helpers in your life people that you don't know are helping you connect to this person or oh, that's the plan all right you have leo leo scorpio taurus and gemini that's taurus peace and blessings great day here's your sneaking peek <laughs> namaste